Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a beat for a dubstep song. Now, dubstep songs are two-step beats, so they're kind of like this. Well, they're exactly like this. But dubstep songs are in about 140 beats per minute. Most songs are going to be in 140 beats per minute, so it's easier just to stick with 140. You can go about 130 if you really want to. Now, um, you don't have to have a sound, like a drum kit. Um, I highly recommend getting the Vengeance kit, one of them. And, you know, they have, mostly for the cymbals, um, they've got some cool bass drums. And the bass drum, or the kick drum, and the snare, that's the one I have here that I've already been using, sounds pretty generic when you use it in a song. There's already drum kits in FL Studio, but they sound too much like real drums instead of synthetic drums, so I'd, I recommend getting this. Um, one thing you can do is, if you're having trouble finding a snare here, you can layer them. I didn't really like the way those layered, so I uh, found one I liked just by clicking on them and, and finding them, and I end up deleting the top snare. Um, but you want to leave it in this kind of boom -tch boom pattern like that um like it's kind of like to nod your head to it's basically what dubstep is it's two step beats are kind of like head nodding music like where you nod your head back and forth um now obviously that's not just those two beats you need something in between that's where the symbols come in you need for a good i think at least i think for a good beat without going into uh mastering and um Velocity, making drums sound like they're really being hit by a person. You need three cymbals. You can do it with one if you're really good, and but I prefer to just use three different ones because they sound different. Here you make a V pattern between. Um, it doesn't have to be a V, but some sort of pattern, so you're not playing the same thing twice. Um, for the f first two at least, sometimes the first three. And then on the last one, you can also do an, a pattern like this, but I choose to make just two or three. Uh, see here, I just put two. It keeps kind of head nodding thing going. Put one more here. And I like to put this extra bass drum in the back. It gives it that boom, boom. It kind of sounds pretty cool. Um, here I put, I'll show you, this is where you put it in the playlist. Uh, if you hit control and use your mouse wheel to zoom in, it helps you place them better. Sounds pretty nice. Um, since this tutorial is kind of short, I'll show you how to make a drop. So you go ahead and make a new uh, playlist thingy and call it drop. And get your bass drum, and to start off with, put one at the beginning of every different color, every fourth note right here. And uh, then slowly start filling them in. And you'll see, um, you see the kind of shape I'm making. How you'll hear what the sound it makes, but you just want to incrementally uh, speed up, basically. Here, I'm having trouble. You got to click pattern. Sounds pretty cool. Uh, you hear that in a lot of dubstep songs, and you can vary. Um, obviously, you can make it slower. You can. I put it at about twelve. Um, bars but uh, here I'm trying to find a sound clip I don't recommend using the end of these or the default ones to put at the end but just for this example I did you can use these robot voices if you want I think they sound pretty cool uh, but I wouldn't use the default sayings because everyone's heard them and like three people that have used pound the beat in a song it's kind of overdone but um one way to end a drop is to have some sort of sample at the end so here's an example See, it sounds pretty cool.